Mine's Daily Dan. <laughs> you were a great fish. <laughs> May this toilet bear you to a happier place. Hey, Trace here for D News. Do you remember this scene in E.T.? Back to the river, back to the forest! It turns out Elliot is not the only one who's releasing captive animals into the wild without first doing his research. Aquariumists, or people who own aquariums of exotic fish, are releasing so many fish into the wild that the state of California is having a problem with them living in the oceans off of its coast. These tropical fish are invasive species. A University of California Davis study was released this week that shows too many people are loosing their lionfish, cleansing their clownfish, expelling their exquisite fairy Ross. You get it. It's like a mafia movie out there. These tropical tank fish, which are the hardiest of the fish you can take home from the pet store, are competing with the natural residents and they are kicking butt. The big kahuna is still out there and if it slips the hook, we will be up a creek without a paddle. Yes, I'm going to fit as many fish and water puns into this story as I can. According to this UC Davis study, 69% of Texans admitted to flushing their tropical tank fish, and as we know from Finding Nemo, all waterways do lead to the ocean, eventually. Because of this, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean already have an aquatic invader, invasive species problem, and now it looks like the undersea lands off the coast of California are gonna be sleeping with the fishes soon too. Lionfish are aggressive hunters, and although they're from warmer waters, they can live in these cold waters off the coast of California. They are one of the major invaders in the Caribbean and the Gulf, so much so that in the state of Florida, they're holding tournaments to see how many people can catch lionfish to try and get them the heck out of there. Once invasive species have a foothold or in this case, I guess a fin hold. It's really hard to get rid of them. Also in Florida, Burmese pythons are an invasive species and they have so many in the Everglades that they are gonna start a hunt. So if you wanna know more about it, check out Anthony's video right here. Then in the Midwest, the Asian carp have invaded and they are eating their way through all the waterways, pushing out local fish populations <laughs> and smacking that guy in the face. Let's totally see that again. A home aquarium doesn't just contain fish, it also contains bacteria and seaweed and algae. It's a mini ecosystem. And when you dump that ecosystem into a waterway, it's gotta go somewhere. A seaweed called killer algae invaded lagoons and waterways in Southern California, causing $6 million in damage. And it started because somebody dumped it into the water. There are always more fish in the sea. Unfortunately, this time, it's the wrong kind of fish. Humanity is constantly affecting the environment around us. And if we don't stop to think of what happens when we put something in the trash bin or flush something down the toilet, we are never gonna fix this problem. Oh, and stop dumping fish into the water, please. Has your community been plagued by an invasive species? Asian carp, nutria, lionfish, like we mentioned earlier? Snakes, spiders, something else? Do a little research and you can easily find out. Let us know down in the comments and if you want something that's less invasive, subscribe to D News and you'll get both of our videos every single day of the week, including Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Just keep swimming, keep swimming. See you later.